Hi, and welcome to Project Zoboid 40 Day Quick Start Guide, Day 10. So, yesterday it was a pretty crazy day at the uh, gas station. We managed to go there and successfully get the uh, Popsicle fridge. So, the uh, Popsicle fridge, it just takes up uh, 30 inventory space. So, you just need a vehicle that could carry 30 inventory space. It's like the Popsicle fridge, when you go to pick it up, it's uh, two pieces that weigh 15 each. So, which is why in the bag we tried to pick it up we didn't have enough inventory space in the bag so we had to unfavor the books and then throw the uh, books in the back of the vehicle so we could actually pick up the uh, half of the popsicle cooler to throw it in the back of the vehicle but another reason that it was so hectic up here was because of the helicopter event happened up here which means if the helicopter event happened it would be drawing all the zombies from everywhere to the gas station which made it harder than it was supposed to be uh, so if you go to the gas station and the helicopter event doesn't happen over there, I imagine it'd be a little bit easier for you. I mean, there's still going to be a lot of zombies, but there's uh, more more zombies there than there's actually supposed to be because the helicopter is flying around. But if you can to actually get the uh, popsicle cooler, then uh, that's like the only thing that you need out there that you never have to go there again. So, we're going to start working on the next things. We uh, should start actually bringing some of these over to the uh, farmhouse because their vehicle is pretty full. So, depending how much uh, inventory space you have in your vehicle, uh, you might uh, might have to take uh, two trips. I think we're just going to go to sleep here. So, we're going to get rid of this. They're going to go to sleep. This should be a safe place to sleep. So, we don't uh, need to sleep yet. We're not drowsy or anything. But uh, we will go to sleep because we were running around and doing a lot of things yesterday. And it's been like 30 minutes and I feel like we would have been uh, drowsy pretty soon. So what we're going to do is go to sleep so we have a full night's rest. And then we're going to want to uh, clear up our inventory. So we're going to want to clear up our inventory and throw everything in the vehicle. Because we're going to be wanting to go start to uh, collect food pretty soon. So we can see if there's a zombie outside the door. You do have to be careful because sometimes there could be a zombie out there. So we're going to go to the vehicle, and uh, the vehicle looks clear, so we're just going to see what's in here. See if there's no zombies coming by us. Ah, oh, so we're just going to pull up what we don't need here. I think, like, an uh, empty pop can, we don't need that. Actually, everything else here. Uh, so we're going to see. So the inventory space, depending on what uh, vehicle you get, you might find a uh, van. I think a van has a lot of inventory space in the back. I think it could be like uh, 80 or 100, or if you manage to find a nice uh, truck, those have like over 100 space. But if you can find a moving van, the uh, moving van has the most inventory space. So this one can actually like 188 inventory space, so you can carry a lot of things in here. Like we're saying, the things that we're carrying, they don't weigh too much. Like the uh, popsicle fridges, they weigh 15 each, so there's going to be two pieces, so that's going to be 30. So if you want to bring the uh, second popsicle fridge, that's going to be another 30. So you're going to need like 60 inventory space in the back for the fridges. And if you have another uh, generator, that's going to be another 40. So that's going to be like 100 inventory space in just these things. And you can also throw the uh, generator in the uh, passenger seat, right? I wonder if you can throw the generator in the uh, glove box. I wonder if you should try doing that. So you have the uh, glove box there. I wonder if that would work. So go into the glove box. We'll pull everything out. Uh, go here. Throw everything in the back. So if you think the uh, generator in here, that'd be amazing. Uh, as long as there's uh, no zombies anywhere, it seems safe. We're going to take the generator, take it inside the vehicle, and see if we can put it in the uh, glove box here. Click here, take the uh, generator, throw the glove box. Oh, we can't. We can only throw the passenger seat. All right, it was a good try. It was a good try doing that. So if you don't have enough inventory space, just uh, take uh, one generator at a time and just uh, throw the generator in the uh, passenger seat. Come pick up one generator and then uh, drop it off and then come pick up the second generator. Put that in the passenger seat then take it in uh, two trips. 
But if you uh, did happen to get a vehicle with lots of inventory space, uh, we're just going to go pick out that other uh, popsicle cooler there. So what's the zombie here? I think we did empty your inventory pretty good. We have some uh, food. We have some water. So we're going to want to go here to uh, secure this uh, food store and then get everything out of here. We can't be leveling up our uh, crowbar skills because we haven't been using them. But we have only found uh, one crowbar in this game so far. We haven't found a second one yet. <coughs> Usually we would have found a second one by now. But we do want to level up our uh, crowbar skills because our attack speed seems really slow when you're attacking all those zombies. It seems like we uh, couldn't really attack them too fast. So hopefully there's not too many zombies back here. We don't see anybody. So we might just go here and check the back of the store. I don't see anybody. We already came here, right? We already came here to clean the store, I believe. Did we make it here? I think so, because we had a food store at the uh, symbol. So these things are empty already. We're going to go here and turn the light on. Light switch is right here. Turn on light switch so you can see. Uh, so we're going to pick up the ice fridge. Ice cold cooler here. So there's two of them on the map that we know of when you search like the entire map. We're going to have to take one of them in the bag. Then we're going to take up two trips. And then we're going to have to like uh, bring the vehicle here if we want to pick up the uh, fridges if we have room in the back. Well, we have 80, 80 space in the back to pick up the fridge. So we throw this half in here. We might actually be able to take... Oh, no, we won't be able to take them. Oh, unless we carry the, one of the popsicle fridges in the back. So what we're going to do is go to the grocery store here. Oh, we're going to have to get like the food out of that place if we want to take the fridges with us. Like, you know, you take it in uh, two trips if you don't have this vehicle, that's for sure. So we're going to go through here. Uh, yeah, we threw it in the back already. Going to loot this popsicle for edge. I'll throw that out of the back. That's already 115 out of 188. So let's just see what we have inside here. So inside here, freezer. Yeah, we have a bunch of things, so we we can't dismantle them yet. We have to. Uh, empty these before you pick them up. So you take these things. Let's throw them on the shelf here. Here's a zombie. Is it just one? It's all to loot outside though. There could be more zombies here so we do want to be careful, right? We don't want to fight them inside. Uh, so if there's more zombies out here, we want to be able to run away. So we're going to fight him, try to get a uh, log butt up to level 1 to get 3% attack speed. We're just going to go here and then throw everything in the counter like we're going to. The door is broken, so it's not even safe. Did you get these out of the freezer? Oh, there's not even that much stuff in the freezer here. It. What if we take these and just move these next door? Oh, so we emptied the fridges. Maybe we'll just take it to the medical center, right? It's not too far to go to the medical center. We go here. I think we have more food stored there. So we want to uh, collect food. We just have to uh, come here. Throw the food in here for now. Because you don't want to uh, store too much food at the grocery store. I learned that if you uh, don't store food at the grocery store, you can actually uh, uh, go pick up the uh, fridges and the freezers a lot easier. You don't have to pick up all the food out of everywhere. Which is why we're like uh, storing food on different parts of the map. So we got, like four, four or five different uh, food store houses. Ah. 
Let me just be here. And our log blood has gone up. All right, perfect. So let's go here. We emptied the fridges. There's a zombie back there. Oh, so let's take him out. I don't know if there's another zombie back there. Oh, so we're gonna go here. These things are empty. So we're gonna pick them up. Oh, I just picked it up. Oh, it's not in two pieces. We have to be careful for a zombie out here. So if there's no zombie, we could uh, throw it in here. It takes 40 inventory space. Five, six, seven, eight. So we don't have enough. Unless we take some things out. Because how much would this take up? Because we got the uh, two popsicle fridges. That would take up 60. 100. 140. We could fit it if we take a bunch of things out. Oh, if we take some things out of here, we should be able to fit it. So we just need, what, 40? We need it to go down to 148. So you can pick out enough things to break down to a 148. Here comes the zombie. So that should be good. So let's throw these in the glove box. Oh, throw the gas cans in the glove box. Oh, we should be able to fit this fridge in here. It's like we're saying, if you don't find like a, a super sick vehicle like this where you can't hold all these things, just do two trips. But if you do find a vehicle, so I guess it's good to show this. If you can't find like a, an insane vehicle with like 188 inventory space, do do take advantage of it. Do take advantage. So where's here? So if uh, zombie cars, we could place it on the ground. Throw us in the back, and then the vehicle's full. So now that we have a full vehicle here. Actually, gonna open the map, and we're gonna put a uh, X. We don't have any food here. I guess we're gonna put uh, this thing back up. Oh, we need the pad. We could erase the food marker. We took all the food out here. We can say X. We got that place. And I guess we should be saying that there's a uh, food over here. So we went to the grocery store. We got the uh, popsicle fridge. We got the two fridges as well. Uh, if you don't have space, oh, we got the two generators. This uh, vehicle could hold so many things. Uh, so, since we got the vehicle completely full of things, we should go to the farmhouse. The farmhouse is going to be all the way up here. So, we're going to start doing that then. And I think that uh, we could actually carry some things. Should we be carrying some things too? I think that we should be carrying some things as well. So, what we're going to do is uh, maybe, maybe go break some food. If you go over here, they bring all the food out of the uh, f the uh, place here. That'd be like a one food store. We don't need to search for food. That would help us bring more. You want to bring as much as you can in one trip. The more that you can bring in one trip, the uh, better. Then the uh, last trips you have to do. So we're going to go here, loot all the food. Or we can get the uh, cooking equipment if there is any. Maybe the uh, roasting pad, the empty kettle. Maybe we'll start looking for cooking supplies. Maybe a cat opener. Don't need to worry about the canned food or anything. We get the empty bug, baby. Maybe the rolling pan and the bacon tray. Ah, oh, so the main thing we're looking for is just the food at the moment. So take this food here. Go to the map. And then we will remove the marking here. Let's put like a X here. 
So update the map. And then we just have these three food places. So I wonder if we should go pick up some food before we head out. Here's the food store. Here's a food place up there. I think we'll do that. We have more inventory space. I guess we're already carrying so much. We're already overweight. 13.32. 12.88. We won't worry about him. 12.53. Oh no. We're carrying too much. Oh, the tire pump. We were thinking about throwing the tire pump away because we don't need the tire pump anymore. So we're going to see if the tire pump fits in the uh, glove box. Unfavorite. We don't need to carry that around anymore. So there we go. So now our weight is 11.8. 18. I think we're going to attach one of these belts back to the belt here. 11.53. Uh, so the main thing we want to do is just keep our weight below 12 if possible. Uh, so we're able to do that. We just need to go get some water here. So I don't think we're going to be uh, picking up anything else. We pretty much brought as much as we can bring. Oh, this huge group of zombies there. We're hoping to go get some water for that place. I guess we have the water bottle. We can just unpack this. Unpack the water bottle. Put the empty bottle maybe in the fanny pack. Oh, we just have to make it right back to the meat coal and start going to the farmhouse up there. Oh. Oh my god, that was so dangerous. We don't even know what we're doing. We attacked with him. Yeah, I was hoping that we were going to be able to get him to eat him. Another zombie here. So there's just this one baby. Oh, it's a fireman outfit. Perfect. We ought to get another fireman outfit. So you're going to take all his things. Gas mask, fireman outfit, fireman pants. Oh, we can't go pick it up. We have to deposit this somewhere. Oh, maybe we're gonna have to come back and get the food later because we just had a fire bit outfit. Stack one of the other places. There's a whole lot of zombies. We're thinking to go to the place to the uh, west of this place. Definitely don't want to be going around carrying this thing. Is there a zombie up here? Oh, there is it. Uh, so I guess we won't worry about the food. We won't worry about the food at the moment. I mean, there's probably going to be other things we're going to have to worry about. We'll just throw all the food back in the freezer here. We'll unfavorite the hab. Put that out of the freezer. So some ice cream here. We'll grab two ice cream. That should be enough. So we'll throw the uh, fresh food in there. I guess we could throw the uh, gas mask with the fireman helmet and long sleeve Siri picked up. And, uh, maybe I guess the rolling pin. We don't actually need the rolling pin for anything. So we got some food. We'll attach this back to the belt again. And there we go. So I don't even think we'll bring this with us. Uh, so we're going to have to update the map and say that uh, we chose to make this a food store again. So we remove this and put the uh, fish store. There's a uh, food here to pick. So it's just mostly because we found the uh, fireman outfit. Want to kill him? Get the fireman outfit. Get these out behind the door. We open it. If they chased us here, oh, don't go through the window. Uh, so we're just gonna get that fireman outfit and then head out here. We got. Oh, we should have filled up our water bottle. We got food. We got water. Here's the fireman. Yeah, fireman pants and the jacket. Get the uh, military boots. And maybe we'll take the log socks. And then we go through here. Uh, then uh, now we're ready to head to the uh, uh, the farmhouse up here. So I think we're just going to take this route. Watch out for the uh, fire hydrant. And watch out for the zombie that's over there. We just hit him. We just hit the zombie on the way out. So we want to try to avoid him as long as possible. Sometimes they just drive right in front of you. So go here. So we got a huge inventory of things. Uh, 
Are you still have to get out quick? I saw I check something. Yeah, the vehicle's closed. Oh, damn. So we get back yet? The ghosts are working towards the firehouse. We got so many things. We got two generators. We got two popsicle freezers. We got two fridges. That's a huge amount of inventory space that we have for this thing. But uh, every zombie that we hit lowers the uh, carry capacity. It's like every time that we uh, damage this vehicle, it's going to be able to carry less. So here's where the gas station is. We want to go up in uh, this direction and then past the gas station. I'm not going to go to the gas station. There's no reason to go to this gas station anymore. There's just uh, too many zombies everywhere. What if we keep going straight? Or we should have taken a right there. Let's check. It looks like there's a wreck in the middle of the road to drive around it. There's a wreck here too. So we do have to make our way to the main road over here. So it's uh, all the way over here. This house is over here. That's a really nice house. Watch out for the effect. Maybe we should have just drove straight to the main road and then just drove over there. There's so many, so many cars to dodge. There's a little truck. I wonder if we can get that truck at some point. There's just a truck sitting in the middle of the road here. If we can find the uh, keys to it. Oh, there's another moving van right there. So if we could uh, come back and see if we get the uh, moving van. So from here, we just want to take the road uh, west, northwest, and then whenever we get to the storage houses, so here's like the food source, another nice van you might want to check out. So if you don't have a good vehicle, maybe you'd want to go along the road, see if there's any vans, uh, try to remember where they are, any good uh, vehicles, the uh, truck back there might have been good, like if you just have a uh, car for some reason. Here's the storage center. And then here's the other storage center. So from here, we're just gonna go past the storage center. And if we uh, check the map, there should be a road here. We can't miss it. I mean, you can miss it very easily. We always miss it. Or we can even go in this direction and just take this big long road here. So this road here, so we're going to open up the map. And then uh, we're just all the way over here. So here's the gas station where we were. Then we just drove up here, drove past the fast food place, and more food places, another fast food place. Here's the storage center we passed. There's the three story uh, center. And here's like the uh, restaurant. And then just over here, you can see in the middle of the road, there's like a path leading out this way, and a path leading out this way, and then it leads here to the house. Or we could take this road down here and then just uh, drive across here. We found out that's the easiest way to find it. So let's drive out here. So we need to pick up uh, fuel for the generators too, actually. So we can do that when we go to the other gas station. We just want to be careful. Don't hit any of the trees coming through here. We just want to try to follow this uh, uh, brown road on the ground. So watch out for any zombies. Try not to hit them. Every hit's going to decrease the uh, inventory space in this thing. Let's see if you follow the road. Sometimes it looks like you may hit a tree, but if you're uh, following the road, you should be alright. So you made it here. If you made here, here's the uh, wheat field. And then here's just a big huge open area. So it's like we're supposed to be animals. And over here is the farmhouse. I actually made it over here with all this stuff. This is a good run. Besides not getting the uh, fishing by one scope, like everything else worked out good. So we're going to turn it off and park here. There shouldn't be any zombies, except for the zombies that be inside the house here. So see, door open. I was going to say, don't be an alarm system or something after all of this. Uh, let's see if there's any zombies. Who's right around? It could be upstairs, probably. You don't hear anybody. Do we go upstairs? Oh, be careful going up here. Turn on lights. Run. There's nobody here. Run. There's nobody here, I think.
So is there nobody here that we could just uh walk around, open these doors here? Hey, right, check him out. We won't search anything for too long. We already know there's some beds, beds up here. Oh, bathroom. Drink, water still on. Oh, we need to fill our water bottle so we can fill our uh, water bottle here. Fill the empty water bottle and then uh, fill the other water bottle. And then we just refill our water bottles here. So it looks like there's no people here, but you do have to be cautious because they could be inside here and you, uh, they could get you if you're not watching yourself. So there's a light here. Nobody here. Back door is unlocked. This food's gone bad already by this point, right? It's just rotten food. Through the uh, fridge. Nothing really here. Oh, so I guess we secured the place then. There's nobody here unless they're hiding in this room. Open it. Why can't I open the door? It's red. They would start banging on the door if they were here. Should be able to open it. Maybe we'll pick up the sheets. And then we can uh, put the sheets on the windows here if we want. So we're gonna put them in the back window. Add sheet. No zombies here. Closed curtains. Oh, we need some food. So we're gonna eat the ice cream. Do you want to ice cream with us? Now get rid of her hugger. Oh, this ice cream, I guess we'll just keep it with us. Right, so we go to the front, add some sheets to the front. We need to get some more sheets here. Ah, close the curtains. Close the curtains. Why'd you open the door? So let's go check the uh, bathrooms to see if we find some more sheets. There's no sheets here. We're gonna have to bring some more sheets here to block all the windows, like all the windows upstairs and everything. You have to block all the windows up here so zombies can't see you walking around. But I guess that was it. That was all the sheets over the house. Uh, so we're gonna have to go next door. We're gonna have to search around this place some more. So you know there's a bookshelf here. You can find your skill books. If you didn't find them yet, you can find how to use generators here. And uh, here you can find hiking bag, crowbars. Here's another bookshelf, I think. This thing is off. Yeah, it's off. So we just come here. Check this place, see if anybody's inside the shed. A lock. I hear somebody. Somebody's inside. We knew there was going to be someone eventually. So here's the tool shed. Let's find another empty gas can. We'll take the empty gas can. Three more empty gas cans. So we're looking for at this point is that empty gas can right now. We need to start getting gas. Oh, there's even a generator here. There's already a generator at this place. There's already a generator. Perfect. So now we have uh, three generators here. We're carrying too much. Oh, we're carrying the fireman outfit. Okay. Let's go here. Throw the fireman outfit somewhere for now. 
I guess we should have threw it in the shed. We'll just... Is that a zombie? I don't want to throw the gas cans. I want to keep those. So we got the fire bit outfit. Or at least we got part of it. We just need to go pick up sheets. Should we get dudes go to the uh, glove box and uh, throw these in here? Oh, we can't fit anymore. Oh, we're going to take the generator. And then we're just gonna drop the generator off here. So we're just gonna leave it inside here. We know we need to uh, bring it to the shed, but we might need it here to so uh, fuel power this place. Uh, so we'll just leave it here for now. So just press the uh, one button and switch the crowbar, and then we'll drop the generator. I will just take this. That's so good that there's already another generator here. We go here, we'll take uh, this generator. I thought we'll just drop it here somewhere. Maybe I'll actually put this one in the shed. So we got uh, two generators in the shed. We got one of the house oh, just for safekeeping at the moment. Until we figure out what we're doing with it. Let's go here. We'll drop it here. Press the one button. Switch to the crowbar. Drop the generator. Then we got two there. One of the house. Let's close the window. And then we just have to drop off our popsicle fridges and then our fr other fridges here. So if you go here, we're going to have to pick it up. It has like 40 inventory space for the industrial fridge. So we're going to bring that to the house for now. So just place it here. Maybe just place it here. That works. To go get the other fridge. We have to move this table here. So we have to pick all these things up. We have to pick up the table. And then, um. Pick up these. So there's the table is in a couple pieces here. I guess we're gonna place this outside. Oh, the zombies might destroy it out there. I guess right here works. So you'll place this one here too. Oh, I think we just have to go grab that table here. That's gonna get in the way every single time I try to walk into the house. If we put it out here, it's always might like destroy it. Yeah, it's always might destroy it if we leave it out here. So I guess we should just put it here for now in the corner. Oh, I should have just left it there. We should have actually put it here. We should like pick this up. Yeah, that makes sense. So we pick up this. They'll just place it here. So it seems you can walk through these things. They're not going to get in the way or anything. But the uh, table, you can't walk through it. So we're just going to pick up the table. Oh, we're going to have to pick up these things again. And then we'll just put the table here in the corner. That should get in the way. That makes sense. And then we can figure out what to do with it later. But we have these uh, chairs here. Maybe we'll pick up the chairs. Then, uh, maybe we'll just put them in the, uh, corner for now. So we got that figured out. So let's just go get the other fridge. I wonder if we should put this fridge here. They put the, uh, freezers out. 
I guess we organize it a bit more. We got room for a lot of things inside this house. So now, we're just gonna go grab the other fridge. So if you get up in the fridge in like one trip, it's all right to bring it in like uh, two trips. The gear vehicle might just be able to hold like 100 inventory space, like 118 or something. So let's put it here. So we're trying to figure out where do we put everything, right? So you put these in the middle, they put the freezers on the outside, or you put like these on the outside and the freezer go in the middle. Or you put the freezers along the wall and then move these like here or something. We can even do a whole bunch of things, anything that we want. Maybe we have two fridges and then two freezers. Maybe that'll work. Uh, so put the two fridges here. They have to pick up the uh, popsicle fridges. Maybe carry one in the bag. Then we can uh, see if we can carry the other one. That's a place this fridge that house here. I have to click and drag to rotate it. Uh, we don't have the rest of the other ones. So I think we just have to uh, drop this on the ground here. And then go pick up the other half of the other one. So you will have to unpack this to place it, I believe. So we'll place this one. I'm gonna place it over here for now. So we could still move these. I mean, uh, after placing it here, maybe it doesn't look that good. But uh, we only have so much space here. If we move the uh, Posco freeze freezers in the middle, and then just have the two freezers on the outside or something. Maybe we'll try that. So we'll pick up uh, these fridges. They will pick up this fridge. And they will just place it here. And they will just do these things off the ground. They will just try placing this here. So I think that looks a little better already. So there we go. So that looks all right. We got the uh, two fridges, then we got the two freezers. So that's going to be a lot of space to uh, hold all the uh, fresh food that we're going to be able to get. That's like a 38 minute video. So we spent like most of our time uh, moving things. But I guess it does take a lot of time to get out here and collect everything. I guess we uh, picked up the fridges, picked up the popsicle freezers. So let's uh, go empty the back of the vehicle. Where's the favorite? The oh, we can throw these in the uh, passenger seat for now. Let's go here. Throw these in the passenger seat. There have uh, four cads there. Then we got six cads here. So we have ten gas cads. Anything here we don't need? So I guess we just loot everything from the back of here. Bring it inside the house here. I'll just leave it here. Uh, then we need to uh, fill up those gas cans. So we're just going to throw these in here for now. And I guess this How to Use Generators book, we can actually uh, read it. So we're just going to read this, and then we could unfavorite it. And then we can just set this down here, that we just don't have to be uh, carrying this around with us all the time. Actually, we did keep it just to show that we need it, and then eventually we're going to need it, and then uh, right now is where, when we're actually going to need it. So maybe we should set up these generators uh, before we head out, just so that we know that we have them set up. We should set up a uh, one, because we do want to maybe set at the back of the house, and then we're going to be trying to power these fridges and power this uh, stove over here. 
So we're probably going to be putting it uh, behind the house. Or maybe we could put it like out here. And then maybe it would reach over there. Or maybe over here by the shed. I'm just worried because the generator is going to attract zombies with all the noise and everything. Because, I mean, we can even, like, uh, put it over here, maybe. But then the zombies would destroy the fence. I don't think that was anything. So if you have everything sorted out, we uh, came here with a full inventory of the van. Uh, we're ready to head out. So we might even have to uh, go to sleep because we've already been here for so long. So that's empty. So we can see we had like uh, 188 inventory space, but because we hit some zombies along the way, now we got 180 inventory space. So we lost 8 inventory space. But I mean, you're bound to damage it and lose inventory space eventually. So this thing holds so much. Gosh, right, so we're going to close that. Then we're going to head out here, right? We're just going to go check this thing. I think that we did everything here. Oh, so we're going to set up the generator. I think we'll set up the one from the house. And then we'll just keep these as, like, uh, backups. So we'll check in here to make sure we didn't leave anything. I don't think that we did. Ah, uh, so we take a generator. I have to figure out where to set it up. So we're going to take the generator. Then we have to set it somewhere up here. I mean, even if we set it up back over here, it's going to uh, attract zombies over there. Because if those uh, crawling zombies come here, they're going to just destroy the fence. And if you have a bunch of zombies out here every night behind the house, they're just going to be attracted to us. So we're going to be coming out here like all the time to check for zombies. Oh, so we're just going to press the one button. Going to connect the generator. And then we need to get fuel for it, so we don't actually have any fuel here. Which means we have to go to the gas station, and go find a bunch of gas cans, go fill up the uh, gas cans, maybe bring a, a vehicle with us. I think we're pretty much ready to go. I think they're going to uh, go to sleep before we head out. So we got uh, 10 gas cans in the vehicle here. We got a uh, tire pump. 10 gas cans, we got a tire pump. That's all that we really need here. So we got this set up yep we can go get some sheets and everything we got our inventory organized we threw everything in there we just got like a backup hammer which i don't think that we need this backup hammer at the moment it's like almost uh destroyed anyways we got two on uh, the two about so we just got the ice cream in the bag these six in the duffel bag we got the water bottle in this one uh, so we're going to drink the water still working and then we're gonna fill the water bottle and then uh, we're gonna head to sleep here. So here's the uh, freezer. All we need to do is get a bunch of uh, food over here to the farmhouse now. So if we have that figured out, yeah, it's like a 43 minute video. So I imagine we're gonna have to go to sleep. It's because we spent like all of our time looting the uh, fridges and putting them in the back of the van and then figured that out. And then uh, driving here is a pretty far distance like here's where the farmhouse is we're gonna take the uh, blue marker and put a home on it here's where your home is here's where the home is gonna be and here's where you're gonna store everything so here's gonna be like the storehouse and we got lots of space here to do everything and there's actually a lake down here we haven't been checking these zombies for loot they could have dro dropped us the uh, elk drove map so that we could see where we are but I guess maybe it's better like this, that the map's not revealed, and we can see where you have been and see what you have done. So, now that the van's empty, it's just those things took up space. The popsicle fridges, they took up uh, 60 inventory spaces. The generator took up another 40. So, just the two popsicle fridges, the generator is going to be 100 inventory space. You might be able to take that on a trip. And the uh, two fridges, you might you want to come back and get those in another trip. So you have to get everything in one trip. That's going to save so much time. So I think we got like uh, most of the things here. We got to the farmhouse. We got everything that we need except that the uh, water dispensers. We didn't get those. The farming season equipment. 
carpentry, cooking supplies, skill books you have read. We need to go get the fresh food and everything, but before we can get the fresh food to the place, we have to set up the uh, generators here. And get the uh, fridges all set up so we can have a place to uh, store all the food. So I wonder if we should actually uh, go through here and just uh, go to all these places with the uh, fish on the map. Maybe go collect all the fresh food, bring it to this place. We need to go get uh, gas to fuel the uh, gas cat, the uh, generators. And maybe we should get another vehicle to uh, tow behind this vehicle. So we can fill that vehicle with gas. <coughs> and that would be like a huge gas container. So at this video, that was uh, another successful day, I think.